we have a very interesting diagram given to us and it seems like we have a cube that's inside that's barely inside as much as we can press it in inside a cylinder and that looks very interesting but let's start by reading this passage a cylindrical barrel with radius 4 feet and height of 10 feet well the first thing i'm realizing the height is 10 feet but does that really matter though the height being 10 feet if it is if the height was like 0.1 feet and the uh, and the cube was not going to fit in maybe it's going to matter a bit but it seems like 10 feet is way bigger than enough for it to have the cube pressed in as much as we can so i don't think it matters whether it's 10 feet or 100 feet or 1000 feet i feel like the height of the cylinder is extraneous information i don't think we're going to use it but we may so let's keep that in mind but this doesn't seem to be too much useful for the, for finding the point of tangency or the point of contact between this between this cube and cylinder but what's going on though and it's full of water that's very interesting a solid cube with side lengths of eight feet is set into this barrel so the diagonal of the cube is vertical so we have this diagonal going on once you extend this out once you extend this out you have a diagonal within within this cube da, 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 da. and this diagonal is vertical so you're just pressing it in up upright from this from this corner's point of view and the volume of water displaced is v cubic feet where the volume of water that's going to go out is the volume that you're pressing in right here so the volume of so the so the volume of a portion of the cube that's going in going within this this plane going inside this plane the upper plane of the cylindrical barrel is going to be the volume that's going in or the volume that volume of water that's going to be displaced because the amount how much you press in the same the same amount of water is going to go out and we wish to find the volume squared that's a very interesting question well to begin with let's mark the point of intersection between between this cube and the cylinder and we let's let's connect all of this and we have an equilateral triangle so we have an equilateral triangle right here so why don't i why don't i show you what this looks like so if you're if you're looking at it from this point of view that's an eye if you're looking at it from right here you're going to see a circle and you're going to see a you're going to see an equilateral triangle pressed in like this and we know the radius of this circle you know the radius has to be four feet so you know this thing is four that's very interesting and what else is going on looking at it from looking at it from down here so let me draw another eye so looking at it like this you have a pyramid you have a pyramid let me just draw it upright so you have a pyramid uh, actually let me just draw it the way it is so you have an equilateral triangle which is right here and you have a pyramid that looks something something like this so we want to find the volume of this pyramid and the volume of a pyramid so we want to find the volume of the pyramid which is one third area of the base times height where the area of the base is going to be area of this equilateral triangle which we are about to find out and the height is going to be the height of this height of this uh, pyramid which seems harder to find but let's start with finding the area of the equilateral triangle well we know this radius we know this radius is four maybe i was trying to write four i i don't know why i stopped and you have you can draw a right angle like this and you have 30 60 90 triangle because equilateral triangle is 60 degrees all the way that's going to be 30 degrees that's going to be 60 degrees applying the ratio gets you two for this side two times square root of three for this side so the entire length is going to be four times square root of three and since area of equilateral triangle equilateral triangle is equal to side squared times square root of three over four i may make a future video proving this our area for this equilateral triangle is four times square root of three q squared times square root of three over four also known as 16 times three times square root of three over four or 12 times square root of three so we found the area so let's just plug that right in so we have four times square root of three times h that we are wishing to find 
But in the end, we want to find v squared. So why don't we just have it to begin with? Our v squared is 16 times 3 times h squared or 48 h squared and they want us to find volume squared so that's what i'm doing so once we find the height all we have to do is square that multiply by 48 and we are done but but how can you find this height so let me redraw this diagram because that's too small let me keep some of this and let me redraw this diagram so equilateral triangle going on and you have a pyramid that looks something like this and we know this this side of the pyramid is 45, 45, 90 triangle. And why is that? Well, you have a cube. So you have a cube. So this has to be 90 degrees. So you know this thing is 90 degrees. And since everything's symmetric, since you're plunging this cube into the cylinder, just head first, the corner first, right vertically, perfectly vertically, we know it has to be symmetric. So you know this side and this side has to be the same. And you know you know, the side of this equilateral triangle is 4 times square root of 3, so you can find the side length of this 45, 45, 90 triangle, the leg length, which is going to be 4 times square root of 3 over 2, uh, over square root of 2, also known as 4 times square root of 6 over 2, or 2 times square root of 6. So this leg, this leg or this leg, has lengths of 2 times square root of 6. That's very good to know. Now what do we know? Well, let's start from the center of this equilateral triangle and go right perpendicularly down. That's going to be our height. And we know this length. We know this length is by, by this diagram 4. And you know this thing has to be 90, 90 degrees. So we have another 45, not 45, 45, but we have another right triangle right here that we can work with. So you have, let me just redraw this, redraw this right triangle. You have you have let me let me make sure i'm not messing up this thing is 90 degrees you have four you have two times square root of six and you have the height so our height squared is going to be is going to be the hypotenuse squared or two times square root of six squared also known as uh, also known as four times six plus no no minus because you know the hypotenuse squared minus another leg squared minus 4 squared, and this thing is 24 minus 16, or 8. So we know h squared is 8, so we are, we are just one step away from being done. Our answer is 48 times 8, also known as 300 and 384, and we are done. So let, let's write 384 right here, and that's our answer for 2015 Amy 2, problem number 9.